If you are in the painting industry or you estimate painting jobs, you need to know how the Apple Vision Pro with the LiDAR and measuring capabilities are going to impact the painting industry. So in this video, I wanna dive into a few specific apps that can be used to measure spaces without a measuring tape or laser level or anything. And you could immediately take that information and put it into a quote. So if that's of interest, stick around because that's what we're gonna be talking about. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris. I'm the owner of Boolean Automation, where our mission is to free you up to do what you love. We work specifically with painting contractors, painting companies, marketing managers, operations managers, owners, to eliminate the busy work in your business. Data entry, duplicate data entry, streamlining lead flow, estimating processes, all that stuff. And so technology like the Apple Vision Pro is very interesting to me because I see where this is going and I'm very excited about the use cases of this. So if you're a painter that's looking to be more efficient, please like the video, subscribe to the channel because this type of content is for you. So let's dive into this topic with the Apple Vision Pro and applying it to the painting industry. There's a couple of different things that I want to, that I think are just absolutely crazy about this. One is obviously if you're using a tool like Paint Scout or some other similar painting estimate tool, there's like you can you can navigate this just like you would anything else, uh, any other browser based app. What I want to show you, though, is some of these recording or these uh, different tools that exist. So there's a tape measure tool, for example. So I'm in my office here and I can when I have the tape measure tool pulled up. Let's do tape measure start. All right, so right now I have this dot in front of me and I'm curious also what this is like from your perspective over if you're switching back and forth between this, but we're gonna try to do this in here. So if I wanna figure out the dimensions of my room right here, I look in the corner, I tap and I go up. So I've got a seven foot, two inch ceiling and then from here over to this corner of my office, I've got 10 feet. And then here to that corner is uh, nine feet. Now I've got, you know, for example, I can find out I'm in a nine by 10 by seven foot room, which is helpful. But there's other things, another app in here that I wanted to show as well that I think is has implications for some pretty cool stuff in the future. There's this other thing called Vision Ruler, and this is early, but what you can see here is pretty crazy. It's it's showing a surface. So every single surface, it's trying to map out and identify, here's a wall, here's a ceiling. The problem with this particular app is that there's no way for me to edit settings. So I have like all centimeters. So this wall is 64,912 square centimeters, whatever that means. I can't switch it to feet or inches. And it's also very hard to like eliminate or delete uh, spaces. But again, the thing that blows my mind about this is that I turn this on and it automatically has this all figured out. It knows these walls. So imagine if you could walk into a room like this and you're able to, in a matter of seconds, see every single surface. It takes that surface, uploads it to a painting estimate tool and tells you this is the total square footage of all the surfaces that you need to paint. And then you're just modifying the, you know, what the surfaces are. And you can see even my computer here, it's got like that screen is uh, 49 by 32 centimeters. You know, it's just, it's crazy. All the, everything that I look at at my desk, I have a 113 by 50 centimeter desk. It's just absolutely, absolutely incredible. So that's that one. The other one that I think is pretty interesting is there's this other app that's called the hands width. So this is actually a very cool app because I can go in here and say, again, it's the same. I have my measure between my fingers. So I have this. And if I'm looking in front of the computer like this, you can see, let me move this over here. So if I want to see like the mic is 0.2 or like, let's say the boom arm is two feet long, right? So that's pretty cool. But now what I can do is when I place this here, I can tap my fingers and it locks that dot in place. I'm looking at the screen from the computer. It's crazy. Like there's nothing here that you, you can see. Now I come over here and I'm, I'm looking at this dot. Everything stays perfectly in line. So as soon as I tap my fingers, 
Now that's locked and I have this line that is measured from that point to that point, three feet, uh, point three, 3.3 feet. And then if I want to change that, I just tap that, tap that, and now I can move these around again. So I also could adjust to inches, let's say. So I wanna see this is, this is two inches wide, whatever. I'm gonna keep it in feet. And then, um, yeah, so anyways, this is another thing where it's like, say you wanna measure something, it's pretty crazy to say, lock that there, come over to here. That's a 3.8 foot desk, which is pretty awesome. So as far as measuring things go, I think this is a pretty powerful tool. Uh, just what the Vision Pro is capable of and how out of the box, this is a Gen 1 product and we can already do the type of stuff that I'm showing you with measuring spaces. Oh, and not to mention, I can also just take a picture. So right in here, I just tap this and I can immediately take a photo. If I wanted to, I could take a walkthrough video, but I, I've taken that photo. And then if I go back to my other app, if I was making a paint scout estimate, I could go in here to the you know south side of the house. I could add media. And then from my photo library, I can just grab the photo that I just took and add that. And there we go. I'm uploading a photo of my office to the quote that, that easily. And then, yeah, if, if you're interested in seeing other stuff that you can do with paint scout, you know, let me know what you'd like to see and I can do that. I made a separate video of using Paint Scout to estimate a painting project. But yeah, from a measuring standpoint, I think there's some pretty cool photos or pretty cool features that are going to be possible in the very near future with the Vision Pro in measuring houses and spaces and whatnot. So hopefully that was valuable. Let me know what else are you interested in knowing is possible with the Apple Vision Pro. Thank you so much for watching. We got the marks on the face. That's probably one of the biggest downsides is just how long can you actually wear the Apple Vision Pro. But uh, let me know what else would you like to know? What's possible? How can you leverage the Apple Vision Pro in the painting world? Because I think, like I mentioned in this video, there are so many crazy use cases that are people have no idea what's coming. And uh, this is it's pretty exciting. So we'll see you in the next video. This is Chris from Boolean, where we free you up to do what you love.